camp chair from Front Runner, and it just got delivered. And I am pumped because I think this is the one. Now let's get it open. Let's see what it looks like. Now let's get a review going. Now where is my cutting tool? Here it is. Nice. Wah! 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 So my bare bones cutting tool did really well. That's nice. So this is our front runner bag to carry the chair in. And then along with the bag, we should have the front runner expander chair. Oh man, I am pumped. Look at the size of this thing and it's heavy duty. So let's get rid of the box and let's get this thing unwrapped. Oh man, here we go. It's one way to do it. All right, so let me grab a chair. I'll be right back. Okay, this chair, let me tell you some specs about it real quick. This chair weighs not seven pounds, I believe. Weighs seven pounds, can hold 253 pounds. That's incredible. So this is the carry bag. It was $14.95. I thought when I throw this in the back with all my other gear, I do not want the chair to get skinned up day in, day out when I'm out at campsites, when I'm out traveling, wherever I may be. So got this handy little bag to go with it. And the moment of truth. All right, here it is, the expander chair. Now, to figure out how it opens, that's the key. Release the hook and loop straps. All right, let's see if we can get this going. I released them. Fold out and upwards. Okay, out and upwards. Oh, do you see that? Bam, pops. Bring it over. We have a chair. Now, how do we lock it? Flip the chair's back support up. Got it. And we're good to go. Now I weigh 230 pounds, slightly under. So here's a comparison. My old camp chair, $26 from the hardware store. My new chair, $64.95 plus shipping. Because I think these things they're out of California, but you can't find free shipping on this. So let's see what we think. My first sit. Oh, okay. This is nice. Huh. All right, let's switch again. Oh, the $26 chair is more comfortable. So the hardware chair right here. The hardware chair is more comfortable than the new chair. However, the new chair looks cool. As you can see, it's got nice powder coated aluminum space age frame. It looks really good, I don't know. But golly, this $26 camp chair is like, it's everything. Hmm. It's gonna pack down a lot smaller and that's probably worth the value sitting in it. Eh, definitely not luxury. I was hoping for a little more, I'm not gonna lie. But who do I think this chair is for? I think it's for overlanders. I think this chair would be great um, for car campers. I think this chair would be comfortable for anybody that doesn't need tons and tons of back support. Although the back support is nice. You have these little bars you can feel inside of the arms. They rub up against you a little bit, but not bad. I'm six foot one and a half and I can kind of go up over them. Nice armrest. I like it. Side view of me sitting in the chair. There's the arms. Here's that metal part that sticks up. It's not irritating by any means. So there's the side. Here's the back. You kind of have to lean at like a 
a little bit of an angle. If you sit up like super straight or erect, it does, your butt sticks out here. Whoop, whoop. Here's the other side, just for perspective. And then back to the front. I mean, it's a nice chair. If you're gonna live, live and sit in a chair all the time, is it the best choice? Mm, I don't know. For me, I'm gonna keep this chair, but it's gonna come down to pack size versus comfort. Cause like right now, I know it's a little rougher too. I'm wearing shorts. If you were in a bathing suit, if you were a girl and your legs were touching, it's not rough, but it's a tough material, which is good. I think it's 900D Cordura, if I remember right. I saw it on their website. So I do like, I do like the fact that this thing is rugged. I do like the thing that it, fact that it packs up small. Let's pack it up right now, take a look and see the pack size and we'll compare it to the camp chair from the hardware store for $26. It's got this nice hook and loop. So on each side or on one side you attach it, on the bottom you attach it. So there you are. Here's the big advantage to the front runner chair. Small pack size. Yeah, I like that. Now, let's put it in the bag. <laughs> Easy storage. Has a hidden handle and off we go. So there's the advantage right there. As you can see, That's the difference. So you're trading comfort. You're trading some comfort for packability. So if you're limited on space, this is your go-to. If you have room, you wanna sit more hours, I think this is more comfortable. It's probably $60 cheaper if you find it going out of season. I think this chair was like, I think it was like 45 or $55 and it was 50% off, which was a great deal, $26.99 plus tax. And I got it in a state that didn't have sales tax, so that was wonderful. I don't know, it's a toss up. This was always kind of annoying in the way when I was carrying two, but this is so handy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with this. I'm gonna go out and test it some. I'm gonna pack it and unpack it. I think I'll keep it, won't send it back. I highly, uh, I highly recommend this chair if you need something compact, but hey, I'm gonna test it out a little more and see, see what I think. I might even test it out right now. I might go right out to the park and just sit in it for an hour. Might read a book, who knows? So anyway, this is the Front Runner expandable chair and the carrying pack, $64.95 seems to be the average retail price. Usually you have to pay 15, 20 bucks for shipping. I couldn't find free shipping on it, even through Amazon. And then the bag, which I recommend, $14.95. Probably, um, probably a good investment. So, thanks for watching this review. I'm gonna go do some sitting. And uh, let me know in the comments if you've heard about this company before and if you're interested in this chair. Give me your thoughts. Or are you a $26 Ace Hardware or True Value chair person? Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.